Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News, the weekly BMX News show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, the first thing I want to talk about real quick is that I'm doing a frame raffle. It's a Sunday discovery frame right here. I'm raffling off $5 a ticket, US, Hawaii, and Alaska only. I wanted to quickly mention it. PayPal info for the tickets is in the description down below. Now let's move into the BMX news. So we have a video that popped up this week called BMX Yoga for Back Pain. And this guy directly goes over yoga and different things that can help your back pain from BMX or whatever it might be from, but what might be keeping you from riding BMX. I wanted to highlight this one first because I feel like there's a bunch of people watching this right now who are like, my lower back hurts. And he goes over in the beginning of the video that some of the things, even things that I thought were supposed to help, actually don't help but make the problem worse. So go over there and check that video out. Do some of the yoga, try it out. Let me know if you try it and it actually helps you in the comments because I'm curious on that one. And uh, hopefully this video and more people seeing it can help more people get out there and shred even more and even longer. And from what I've gotten through so far in here, nothing in it is overly hard or what you might picture whenever you think of yoga. It's just some basic stretching poses that help with your lower back and hopefully can keep some people out there shredding even longer. Then after that, there is a Dig BMX photo contest that they have going on and I will read the information on this. There's a link in the description below that you can go to see this information directly, but their bullet points are open to up and coming BMX photographers from around the world. We'll be picking winners from two categories, riding and lifestyle. And there's a total of $500 up for grabs along with prize packages from a selection of our Dig BMX partners. The winning photos will be printed in our annual end of year print edition of Dig. Email your entries to info at dig.com with Dig Photo Comp as the email subject. Closing date for entries is a little less than a month away, November 15th, 2020. That is a Sunday. It's also the day of our premiere of No Promises at Ray's Mountain Bike Park. Hopefully we'll see some of you there. And then the last point here is the contest will be judged by Diggs founder, Will Smith, along with Dig BMX's photographers, Fred Murray and Rob Dulecki. If you haven't heard the name Rob Dulecki, get familiar because that is a legendary name of a photographer in the BMX world. So I think this is pretty cool. They're offering prizes for up and coming BMX photographers. It's kind of similar to how they're doing that contest with vans called The Circle over in the UK with 10 different bike shops. They're just kind of branching out and doing things for people who might not have had a chance to do something like this otherwise. So I'm super excited about this. If you guys are interested, like I said, link in the description down below. We've got a couple things for sponsorship news here. The first one is that Chance Brzezinowski, I'm sorry to butcher your name, dude, but he's got a video up called My 2020 Colony Mate BMX Build. And that means that he's riding for Colony now. If you guys have seen Chase's videos, this dude is a lip lord and he is such a good BMX rider. And it's cool to see that he's riding for Colony now. I don't know how long this information has been out. It was just posted around BMX Media this week. So I figured I would talk about it. And then we've got one that I think is pretty cool, honestly. Michael Laren. This isn't the cool part. The cool part comes after this. I'm not saying that it's cool that he's off Hoffman, but he is off Hoffman, and now he is on Mongoose, which I think is cool because Michael Laren is someone who has been absolutely killing it in BMX for years. This dude has been on another level competing in X Games. I remember he blew everyone's mind at the 2011, I think it was, Dirty East contest at the Flow Skate Park in Columbus, Ohio. It was the last one they ever had. He did a double tire on a freaking air conditioning vent out of a big quarter and it was nuts and just all the other stuff that he can do the dude's amazing at riding and to see him get support from a company like mongoose can only help that hoffman can only do so much with where they're at in bmx mongoose is a bigger more corporate company and i feel like i don't know this for sure but i feel like they can just do more for riders i mean they got pat casey and kevin peraza Nikita DeCaros, those are all really big names in BMX, and I don't think Pat Casey or Kevin Peraza would be at the top of BMX and riding for a company that can't really do anything for them. So with this, there's a bunch of words from Mongoose themselves, as well as some pictures of Michael riding, and with the Mongoose team and Lee Ramsdale, the team manager, up on bmxunion.com and there's another link in the description that you can check it out and it's the last time i'm letting you know that there's a link in the description they are all down there in the order that i talk about them 
After that, we've got some videos to talk about this week. There's actually a bunch of videos and some variety in there. And the first video I wanna talk about this week is with Kai Schulte from Radio Bikes. And this video genuinely impressed me. There is everything from super big, burly stuff down to really, really technical riding as well. And stuff like up rail to 180 whip in the same video as a gigantic T-bog down a giant stairs. And I couldn't even count how many different double sets this dude wrote in this video. So it's not like there was just one or two burly clips throughout the video. There is like burly clip after burly clip and the dude is just really, really talented at riding. You can just tell that from watching it. And I liked how the video started out with some like home movie stuff of him and a little PW50 dirt bike and then cuts into him riding. And then the music of the video kind of just lends the vibe and the video is just all around enjoyable to watch so i definitely think that you should check it out have you heard of this dude before this if you have let me know where and if you haven't watch the video and let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below and then after that we've got another street orientated video this time with Tariq hayuchi hoochie i i'm not sure i'm sorry but this video is called new knee hootis and it's an affiliation with four down bmx and fit and this one is a little bit different than the previous one. There's still burly and technical riding in it, but it's totally different burly and technical riding. And one thing that I wanted to point out about this that I just kind of realized while I was watching it, it was interesting to me, is the fact that standard definition video and filming with like VXs and stuff is at this point an aesthetic choice while filming. Whereas before, like when that was the only option, it was what people used because it was like what was available and it was really the only option at the time unless you wanted to go like even further back and use like a VHS camera or something and that would just be annoying to edit and deal with. So I think it's kind of interesting that people are still making this aesthetic choice to do this even though when it was going on and happening originally, it was kind of the only option. And I know that has absolutely nothing to do with this video. It's a street video. There's really good riding in it. And it's also got a pretty good vibe. So check this one out if you want to. And then after that, we've got a video with BMX The Game showcasing their major update 0.7.2 that boasts more places to ride, more tricks, tweaks to the grind system. They've got that Nike tunnel contest course that they talked about and showed in the original promotion for this game. It is now in the game and available to ride. Community created parks as well. I haven't played the update, but I have played the original that just came out as the pre-release and they know that they have work to do. They know that they've got a long way to go. They know that they've got to upgrade the physics and gravity and how responsive things are. But the fact that they did this major update and put so much in here just shows that they're trying and that they're moving forward and they're not just giving up. And I'm assuming, I don't know any of this for sure, but I would assume that part of what came out in this is what they were recently working on. And with all of the feedback about the physics and everything, they're probably gonna put time into that as well. So with that, if you guys have played this new update, leave your experience and thoughts in the comments down below. Realizing that this is an indie game made by one person and not a huge studio, so we can't just get giant changes in a month or whatever. Not a ton of work can happen super fast whenever it's just one person working on a game. And if you've ever delved into video games and video game design and creation, you know how insane that world is. It's kind of crazy how just crazy video games are to make. And then after that comes a few videos that I thought were worth mentioning this week, but I didn't want to talk super in depth about. We've got a video from Red Bull with Murray Lauser, and it's called Shapes in the City. And it's been a little while since we've gotten a Red Bull video from a BMX rider and they are always top notch. So check that one out if you want to. Then after that, we've got a video with Josh Clemens called Self Filmed in Montana up on the Snakebite BMX YouTube channel. I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys who are stoked on that one. Then we've got Weird and Revered in Israel. Then we've got the Powers Bike Shop Game of Bike Championships that we've been talking about for weeks now that has finally come to a close. The winning game is in the description down below. It was between Trevor Shabaw and Dan Conway. I'm not gonna spoil who wins it for you, but what I will say is that they were originally supposed to do it at Powers Bike Shop at their current location, but then it rained, so they literally moved 
everything indoors to their new location that they are currently working on to play the game. I'm sure a lot of you guys were following this. It has come to a close and you can check it out and let me know what you thought of it. And I definitely did just talk in depth about that one. So after that, we've got a video called England 2020 at Gaipo Trails for all you trail guys out there. This one is a little bit longer. Let me check real quick. 12 minutes, 20 seconds for all you trail fiends out there. 12 minutes, 20 seconds of trails for you to check out this week. And then we've got some product related things to talk about. The first is a collaboration between Cinema and Ethic for Chad Curley. And I couldn't find anything on their website yet about this to tell you exactly what products are included, but it will be out November 8th. And I saw a hat, some shirts, as well as the bag that are in there. And then we've got the Matt Ray signature designer tires from Sabrosa. And then real quick, we've got a couple things that were just posted up. We've got a video with Satoski Enda as a welcome to MXMXM no idea what that is there's no information here so i don't know if if anyone knows what it is let me know but it's a video that has him riding trails and a little bit of street in here and as the 2018 trail rider of the year i think it's pretty cool that there's a one minute video that features trails and street and he's welcomed to something not sure what it is yet and then we've got another video with kai schulte this one is with him building up his radio bikes bike and after that we've got one interview to talk about this week it's with dennis enerson and it's talking about the gigantic tail whip at the end of his right here video this tail whip is like legitimately insane especially when you see all of the behind the scenes and all of the stuff that was just thrown in as b-roll into this interview it is just showing how incredible it really is and hearing the story of him talking about it it's like a legitimate two-story drop tail whip into a pavement bank that is right up against the building and if you guys know how roof drops work when you come off of it you go out a little bit so he's not landing as high up as he could have and he talks about that it's just nuts and it's definitely worth listening to and hearing the experience and everything behind it because it took some work to get it done so with that being said if any of you try something from the bmx yoga for back pain video that i talked about first i'm really curious to hear your experience in the comments down below did it help you did it not help whatever your experience might be let me know and if you're new here or you haven't yet while you're down there consider hitting the subscribe button so that hopefully we can see you tomorrow for another video thank you all for being here and watching and goodbye